So well trained. Yeah. See how well trained these guys are. Live stream audience, welcome inside the crib. We are here enjoying the amazing music of Dustin Furlow and Matt Thomas. We've already had one fantastic set. We're about to start the second one. If you are online now, share the stream around so we get the get the love going. Also, comment. We'll be watching it in the back of the room. If you have any questions or anything or something you want to share with these guys, tell us where you're watching from. That's always fun. We'll share that with them as well. Without further ado, please welcome back to the stage Dustin Furlow and Matt Thomas. Been watching the hours slip away. Another lifeless casualty I spend that whole damn winter waiting Just waiting for spring to sing its sweet song Saving Grace. 
welcome back. It's nice to see you all haven't left. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dustin. Yeah. Eric's song says hi. Hey, Eric. Hi. How you doing, man? <laughs> oh really? Oops. <laughs> I don't we'll know catch I up. It. We'll catch up next time we're this side of BA. <laughs> All right. Do we have any James Taylor fans in the room? Yeah. Oh, oh, them. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I played this house concert a while ago. It was one of the first ones that I did, and it was in Greensboro, North Carolina, and. Um, this tune was one that came to mind for me to learn. I've been avoiding learning it for quite a while because there's some tunes that I just, I like so much that I almost don't want to ruin them <laughs> by playing them myself. And like, every time I hear it come up on Spotify or something, I'm thinking of the fingerings on the chords and all that. And uh, so I finally decided to learn this tune. It's stuck and I think it's going to stay in the set. Is anybody here from North Carolina? Hello, North Carolina Online. Yeah, if there's any of you, this is for you. This is my favorite James Taylor tune, Carolina in my mind. In my mind, I've gone to Carolina. Can't you just see the sunshine? Don't you feel the moonshine? I said, ain't it just like a friend of mine to hit me from behind? Cause I've gone to Carolina in my mind. And Karen, she is a silver sun. You best walk away and let her shine. Watch her watch the morning come. Hey baby, the sky's on fire, I'm dying, maybe Gone to Carolina in my mind There ain't no doubt in no one's mind But love's the finest thing around So whisper something soft and kind Silver tears appearing now, I'm crying, maybe Gone to Carolina in my mind Oh, in my mind I've gone to Carolina Can't you just see the sunshine? Don't you feel the moonshine? I said, ain't it just like a friend of mine To hit me from behind Cause I've gone to Carolina in my mind Dark inside and late last night I thought I heard the sound of a highway call Birds of flight and dogs of light Signs it might be old and say I'm going And maybe I've gone to Carolina in my mind In my mind I've gone to Carolina can't you just see the sunshine? But don't you just feel the moonshine? I said, ain't it just like a friend of mine to hit me from behind? Cause I've gone to Carolina in my mind. The holy host of others sits before me. But still I'm on the dark side of the road. And it feels like it goes on like this forever You must forgive me Cause I've gone to Carolina in my mind oh, In my mind I've gone to Carolina Can't you just see the sunshine? Don't you just feel the moonshine? And I said, ain't it just like a friend of mine To hit me from behind Cause I'm gone to Carolina in my mind Gone to Carolina in my mind So say nice things about me now that I'm gone 
watching this, which you may very well be. Uh, this is his song. People that have come to my shows know this is his song, but uh, it's a tune I wrote called Cherokee Lake. He lives in um, right near Memphis in Tennessee, sort of near the Smoky Mountains, and uh, he lives within a football's throw of Cherokee Lake. And um, the first time I went to see him after not seeing him for about three years after I moved out, I was like 21 or 22, um, we had... He was like, I'd, I'd never been on a boat before, like never, never kayaked, never rode in a canoe, never pff, even remotely floated on water in any way, shape or form. And he's like, yeah, let's toss some whiskey back and go, I got these kayaks. And I was like, what could go wrong? Um, <laughs> so so uh, I didn't fall out of the boat. Um, he, uh, you know, 20, 20 or 25 years Master Chief in the Navy, I was like, oh, he's good. He's good. He's been like all over the world, everywhere except Europe, in those boats that handle like 30 foot waves. He's good. But at one point, uh, there I just, it was nice and quiet. I'm like, like the sunset on this lake was just beautiful. It's this golden, just unbelievable, like something you see from like those Instagram stories of travelers that have those ludicrous lifestyles. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I was just having this peaceful moon. I look over and I hear this splash. It sounded like if you dropped like a, a a Ford F-150 into like, <laughs> into the ocean, just this huge splash, and there's my dad tits up in the water. And it was just so funny, and that, that moment for me, seeing my strict father, you know, growing up, military, uh, you know, yes sir, no sir, sort of thing, seeing that, and that inspired me so much, you know, I would just look over and he's like, you know. <laughs> and so it's like, I, I wrote this tune for him, and there's no words to it, but I think, um, I think it gets across. Um, I had to tell that whole story before we started tuning. <laughs> <laughs> tuning are you going to? It is an open E in the shape of your standard country G, although it is not. It's not there yet. <laughs> um, yeah, this, this tune is on my record solo. Um, I did a five track EP live in studio. It's just strictly acoustic. And uh, this was the third or fourth track, I believe. So for the instrumental guitar fans,
go back to some harp guitar stuff. says oh oh okay you know, for the people viewing this we we're talking about in the set or during the last set how much matt prefers to not have a set list and i do that's not for sure we're, we're, we're two two groups of people people that have set lists and don't. he's bogart in the set list over yeah. there is what it is <laughs> i gotta keep looking yeah. over his guitar and yeah play one of your tunes this is my favorite part of the show i don't have to do anything <laughs> So I was very fortunate, um, good lord, I have no idea, it was probably about 14 years ago, uh, they had a harp guitar gathering in Williamsburg, Virginia, it was hosted by Stephen Bennett, and I had no idea what this thing was, saw it in the newspaper, and I had contemplated on going, but then a family friend dropped by, and here, take this, oh, um, what do I do? So I had to figure out real quickly, sink or swim. And I learned some really cool things while I was at the heart gathering. Uh, for one, how to tune it. It's a little different than most people would go about it. Most people go down chromatically. But this guy, Stephen Bennett, came up with a great idea by making that first sub bass higher than your lowest E string. And what that allows you to do is chords. I play harp guitar because of that chord. I could sit here all day. I could sit here all night and do this for you, but we formed a song around this. And really the idea was once I got home from that harp gathering, I woke up in the middle of the night and there was this energy around me, just almost like static. I'm sure that some of you have woken up and just couldn't go back to sleep for whatever reason. So I tried to get out a mason jar and capture that energy. I didn't have a mason jar, so I grabbed this thing instead. And here's something that I wrote called a dreamer's lullaby. If you like this, make sure you go on Facebook. There's actually a video up of this that's I think it just teetered at 164,000. So make sure you uh, share that and let's get it up above that. Without further ado, don't fall asleep. This is a dreamer's lullaby. Thank you. 
October, cold as screaming hell. Tap me on the shoulder, but we the only on again. I thought about your voice, it brought me to the past. Somewhere I can go to feel warmer. Somewhere I can go when the days have grown shorter. No one never told me living on your own to feel this way. Only autumn. Only autumn. Wooden floors and windows These simple things in life That bring a man's peace of mind Black coffee in the morning And rye whiskey out of midnight If only every question had an answer If only every answer was the truth that we were after No one ever told me that I would question everything tonight It's only autumn Only autumn Now only autumn Would bring would bring me back to you tune of mine called Only Autumn, if you didn't hear it the first four times. Uh, it's on the album The Sound You Call Home. Um, that tune in particular is really my favorite song I've ever written, and I think it probably always will be. That sounds weird for me to say. I don't actually normally say that. I probably shouldn't have said that. It sounds kind of vain. But, like I judge my own songs like the, like my children or something. No, that, just, that, that tune means a lot to me, and I hope you enjoyed it. The record has some nice piano and stuff on it, so that I played myself. I'm not a piano player. <laughs> like to play another one of mine for you. I'm doing a songwriting competition tomorrow in Norfolk. <clears throat> Chris actually wanted us to play this date uh, <laughs> tomorrow, and I. I I was like, hey, uh, this songwriting competition popped up in Norfolk, and uh, I really like the opportunity to play it and uh, use this tune along with Only Autumn to enter it. And um, they narrowed like, I think, 60 people down to the top 15. Songwriting competitions are odd to me because it's literally like six people judging somebody, what somebody's put all their heart and mind into. So I'm trying not to take it too seriously, but happy to say this tune I'm about to play. Um, was one of the tunes that got me ahead, I guess, in some way. Wait till they hear me tune. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is a song called Evergreen. I hope you like it. Close enough. Uh -huh.
flawlessly fair The way that her breath disappeared in the air Thoughts that occurred to him quietly there A sigh as he brushed back her hair Sat by the fire Trying their best to make sense of their lives To the drone of the insects, their eloquent lies There was still hope and still time She's in his mind, bittersweet chorus, ever green eyes, green as the forest. There's more to her than he'd ever fair and know. Let her know. More than he'd ever Lost in her evergreens He's lost in the evergreens Heartless and scared Like a tin man in search of a love he could share it Was empty but reverent He pined to be fair To her but she never could care Fade from a flame to an ember Faster than you'd have the answers to questions That never were meant to be so And she's in his mind The bittersweet chorus Evergreen eyes Green as the forest There's more to learn More than he'd ever fear to see when he's lost in her evergreens. Oh, he's lost in those evergreens. Lost in the evergreens Oh, I'm lost in those evergreens That's another yeah, first for us We had some real nice weather the past couple days. We got to run through some tunes. That was one of them. I was pretty happy with how that came out. Uh, Matt's going to play you one of his tunes. Right? Uh, what are, on which? Yeah, six string. Ah, okay.
the guy with the set list. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting him take care of that. He's doing a good job so far. <laughs> oh, we're about to get a little, a little crazy here. Yes, we are. This is my favorite part of the show. He says that every time I pick up a new instrument, doesn't he? No, I just say that because uh, I've listened to your songs evolve over the past couple years, and these next few are my favorites. So. Oh, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> okay, Mr. Mike. I'm going to do that for you. So recently, off the coast of Australia, they found a community of octopi, octopus. They built a city together out of different shells and structures that they could find. And they've even developed different social levels within the community. If one of the others does something they doesn't like, they kick them out. It's boggling. So they decided to go ahead and name that city. And they named it Atlantis. And so they started looking around and they found an even bigger one. So they named that one Octolopolis. <laughs> bigger city, right? So it got me thinking, what if there was one big giant kingdom deep down low? And there was a big king cephalopod waiting for all these humans to die out. And he's gonna come up here and just <laughs> take down all the buildings and reclaim this planet once and for all. You know, a lot of scientists have theorized that if humans weren't here, cephalopods would rule the Earth. It's just a matter of time. He's an eloquent storyteller. <laughs> so I wrote uh, a tune for that future king. This is called The King of the Cephalopods. The sci-fi section of the show. <clears throat> the sci-fi section. Oh, man.
played that tune. And you'd think I'd be sick of it, hearing it all the time, but no, it's a good tune. Um, I promised a couple people I would play this next tune. Uh, this is a really new one for me. It's less than five or six months old. Uh, I'm doing this thing, this crazy thing that I've never done. I'm releasing an instrumental guitar album uh, in a couple months. And uh, thankfully he put some fire into my butt to do that uh, with the great Kim person. She's Tommy Manuel and Steve, Steven Bennett's um, old engineer. And uh, this is one of the tunes that I'm most happy about. There's a video on my Facebook and YouTube. Uh, it's called Abigail's Lullaby. Um, this is to my future daughter.
So this one is a little more serious. So, do we have any Netflix watchers? I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a joke. Oh, goodness. I got you though, didn't I? So there's a wonderful documentary on Netflix called Chasing Coral. And it, um, at first they were just documenting some of the bleaching that was happening at the Great Barrier Reef. And then a few months in they realized, oh no, we're actually documenting the death. And I don't recommend watching it early in the morning, but it's a wonderful documentary. It's called Chasing Coral. You hear that internet? Make sure you stream it. And uh, will help bring some awareness to what's going on around the world. And they've been doing all kinds of great things to try to resurrect the reefs. But it just got me thinking, you know, I should write a tune for that reef. When we first learn about reefs, they use symbiosis and reefs hand in hand. So I thought, I'll put it in this weird tuning. So I've got it in C, G, D, G, B flat, D. For those of you that are not guitarists, that is C, G, D, G, B flat, D. Still the same thing, just lost in translation. So I figured, what if I could get this kind of in the bass and then try to figure out something that complements it on the top. So also one thing to note, in the last month before the, the reef really turned its belly up and started to die, um, the whole reef for hundreds of miles was glowing at an unprecedented rate. It just looked like a giant disco party, the whole thing. I mean, even during the daytime, you could see the fluorescent popping out of the water. So just for that reason, watch that documentary. But I tried to capture some of that imagery in this song, and this is called The Great Bleached Reef. That's what's doing this. <laughs> I knew there was something funky. Mm -hmm. Mike's a little sensitive tonight.
to take a deep breath. <laughs> That's fun. It's fun. What are we doing now? What's next? How are we on time? Uh, 55 minutes or less. Mm. How, how long is it usually? 30. I was going to say. Oh, oh all right. Well, <clears throat> we're going to play one more for the folks listening to the live stream. And I uh, hope you've enjoyed the music. Um, we're going to play a couple more for you special folks yeah. that came to see us. Um, We had another tune that I discovered early on when I was like 12 or 13. And I had to learn it, even if it was on the harmonica. And drove my mom crazy. But now I think we have a good time with it. I think it's one that you will recognize straight away. If you want to set the groove there, Mr. Matt.
so much for tuning in. Thank you.